Hi, my name is Atar Zani, and this is my mock interview. Today, I will answer three questions that will help me connect with fellow filmmakers and be a part of the filmmaking community that I really want to be and become a known filmmaker among the filmmaker community. The first question is, tell us what you, tell us what inspired you to enter the film world. Photography is what actually inspired me in the first place to enter the film world. I have a deep passion to be able to share stories that go beyond just words. You don't necessarily need to have words to explain everything. You can see and feel and hear and resonate, which is what I think film has been able to help me with and cope up with my racing imagination. I think photography in itself is a very essential part of our consumption every day. We see, we watch, and we read newspapers and magazines that show us what is happening and how it is happening and the, the profoundness of quality can be seen in those. Versus film is something that we are a part of every moment. Our social media, our television, our internet, everything at the end is a story being told to you. And whatever you see is what you give back in a way. So whatever you take in is what you're gonna give back. And I think that is what inspires me to be a filmmaker. To me, filmmaking is more than just being able to get your dollar bills or have a big house or do whatever. It's For me, filmmaking is about cultivation of resonance and metaphorical, subconscious, thought-provoking ideas that make you question why do we do what we do every day? Why do we exist and how are the things that are happening? Are they even good or are they even real to be a part of? Because I think the ways, the, the kind of life that we are living today in 21st century with politics, the media, whatever is being given to us is not really good. We have geographically divided ourselves we forget that we're just skin and bones and humans at the end and not just any any supreme being to be able to understand and look at a tree and forget that it's the word tree and to be able to sit with it and feel with it is what i think filmmaking is really to me i share a deep passion for this planet to be able to help regenerate and preserve what we have because we've already damaged it a lot and i think this that is one thing that i want to do uh while making films you know like in films i want to be able to cultivate that second question what are your strengths my strengths are directing, cinematography, and editing. I have a vision always. Whenever I'm thinking about something, as soon as I start to think about an idea, you give me an idea about something, whether it be anything. Like, it could be a cooking show. It could be a documentary. It could be, it could be about fashion. I think I, my, my mind starts to run. It, it starts to have visions of what could be a possible composite. And that's only because I can first visualize it, imagine it, imagine it. Second, I know cinematography. I have been shooting photographs and videos since five years. And I know it's not a lot of time, but in that meantime, I've watched a lot of things. I've felt a lot of things and I've changed my styles and experimented over time. So to be able to first visualize and second capture it with aesthetic qualities uh, as I think cinematography with lighting and good lenses to be able to see good angles, find and 
be able to show a good angle of somebody or if if need be a bad angle of somebody you know like i i think i'm good at that so cinematography and third is editing as i shoot as i vision i create and to create to be able to give out and put out things i edit so my third strong strength is editing i edit in premiere pro and i am in touch with davinci resolve for color editing and i have been working on avid recently and to be honest i think it's the, the cuts and the the seamlessness and the flow of a whole um, concept, art, story is very important. And I think my strength is to be able to show it and give it to you in its most raw yet captivating form. So you can check my works out on my YouTube channel, my website that is being created at the moment, but it's not fully up yet, but yeah, it is there. But yeah, directing, cinematography and editing. These three things are what I think I can really do a good job at. Third question and the last one. Filmmaking is a really intensive job. What keeps you motivated and what are you trying to tell and why are you trying to do this? So like I mentioned before, filmmaking is definitely a teamwork oriented job and it takes at least four people or five people in a group to be able to collaborate, function as a group, as a team and bring out a product, bring a story to life. As an independent filmmaker and an artist, I think I have been a part of a lot of teams. I have worked with a lot of people and I don't think that's enough though. I still want to go out and find more people who I can work with, which is why this whole interview is what I'm trying to do. I want to be a part of a community that understands and respects me as I am going to respect them and their work too. I want a community that shares and provokes ideas and comes about and, you know, do this for a living. Being a filmmaker, I do this for a living. I do this to be able to express myself in the most way, you know, in, in, in the most versatile way that I think my voice is being felt, not just heard. So as a filmmaker, I am out to find more people who connect and want to be, and are motivated by the whole same circumstances of living in this day and age and being able to walk with and around people who are creators, who are artists and see the world with, and with them, but through my lens with everyone is what I'm trying to look for and that's why I'm pursuing filmmaking. It's a very labor intensive job for sure. And that's the only crux of like what I can tell you that keeps me motivated. I would love to be a part of a community and be able to give my all and be able to represent myself, you know? And yeah, with that, I would like to end my mock interview. These are three questions that I've answered right now. And uh, I think if a community or um, a company or um, a production house is asking me things. I think these three things will be on my top list that will maybe not be the same as an answer or a question to, but I think these these three will justify my um, experience, my uh, my collaborative nature, and my um, understanding for the art storytelling. I'm just a filmmaker. This is Adar Saini. Thank you for being a part of this and have a good one.